Now in our sixth year, this is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. the name of the program. We're here until midnight on the East Coast of the United States, uh, broadcasting to all of you, broadcasting, narrow casting, hardly casting at all if you judge by the amount of people who've been, uh, you know, uh, listening to the program in the last week or so. It's been slow, been slow. I guess everybody's just pooped. Everybody's exhausted. Uh, and uh, anyway, uh, and I'm I'm exhausted. I'm exhausted by just every little thing, you know. Just get sick of right. Let me tell you what happened to me today. Okay. Uh, first of all, I am uh, supposed to get my COVID shot today, uh, and uh, it it was time for me to get it. Right? Yeah, I signed up for it, and they said to come the 20th and whatever. And if I were to read you what they wrote, uh, let me just read this, because it's important that you know what they wrote me. Um, it says here, okay, uh, you must complete additional screening questions before your appointment, but on the day of the appointment, you will be getting a... Uh, a, uh, wait a minute, is this the one I want? Yeah, this is this is it. Yeah, this a reminder of your appointment. Oh, okay. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. There's another one. Wait a minute. I gotta go down here. I gotta go. To, here's the one that I want to read you. So anyway, they say this email confirms your appointment with the New York City Department of Health and Mental Hygiene COVID-19 Vaccine Hub. Okay. Uh, and then it goes on to say when it is, and it was today, and at 1.10 p.m., and whatever. Now what they go and they say, uh, you'll receive a reminder email on the morning of your appointment with additional screening questions. Now, as though there weren't enough screening questions already on this damn thing, they're going to send me more questions to answer, and then you'll get a QR code, a scannable barcode. And if you have not answered the additional questions or received the QR code, your appointment may be delayed. All right? We're face covering, blah, 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 blah. Arrive, now here's the part. Arrive no more than five minutes prior to your scheduled appointment. You will not be admitted to the site until just before the time of your scheduled appointment. There will be no space for people who arrive early and you will not be able to wait at the site. This will be strictly enforced. And then it says, please bring your QR code or your appointment ID number to be admitted to the site. You got it? We are admonished not to show up five minutes before we're supposed to be there. So what did we do today? Our appointment was at 110. We left the house at about a quarter of. We got there about 10 minutes early. But, you know, we weren't going inside, so it didn't matter. In fact, we weren't going inside for quite a while. Want to do a little video? Uh, yeah, I am. Oh. Yeah, I well, am here we video. are, yeah. once again, in the same line that we were here for early voting. But early voting went fast. Uh, yeah. We are just standing here waiting outside in below 37 degrees. Yeah. And there's snow every once in a while. And, and by the way, it's seniors that get these or, you know. Yeah. And, and uh, uh, seniors love standing out in the cold. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Especially if they don't have a wheelchair or a walker. Yeah, the problem is we're probably going to get pneumonia before we get COVID. Oh. All the run out of COVID yeah, soon as we get but, there. But look at that, and that, this just goes to the corner. This is a clusterfuck. Yeah. And you came where? From the from the Bronx? No, from the Bronx. Oh, from the Bronx. From the Bronx. My girlfriend went up to the Bronx for her shot. Yeah. She said it was easy. She got out of the car. Yeah. She... yeah. 
Well, the, the Mayor de Blasio strikes again. And Como. Yeah. What are you doing? Texting everybody you know? I'm texting <laughs> a few people I know. Yeah. Uh, look at that line. Our early voting line when they're... Well, actually, the line goes back to where we started. We did early voting. We went this way. Yeah. Yeah. Oh boy. Keeps going, 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 going. Look at that. But that's where we're going. Is this any way to treat old people? No, it's not a good way to treat old people. And I want, I want a wheelchair yeah. with a motor yeah. <laughs> so I can ram into people. Right, right. <laughs> Look at that, folks. Just goes on and on and on and on. I actually went home and got a warmer jacket. I came back and Marjorie had only moved five feet. <laughs> and I'm freezing and you... I should have told her to bring back a blanket. And she's over a grate here, hoping that there's heat coming up. There's a down little up. heat coming up. There's a little you bit. You feel it? Drop. <laughs> yeah, but that's drop. And by the way, this goes down, then over a whole block, and then up about this far on the other side of the block. Yeah, just like girl. Marjorie, we're almost there. Yeah, like another half an hour. Yeah, another half an hour. Inside. Yeah. Uh, once we get in the doors there, there's probably 5,000 people on the inside. I don't care if there's heat on the inside. Huh? There's heat on the inside. There's heat on the inside. Oh, boy. You having fun? Uh -huh. You having fun? I'm having a lot of fun. Don't I look it? <laughs> yeah, it's all over your face. I'm freezing. Uh -huh. We're inside now. Yeah, I don't know what I did with those yeah. Please, you can't take pictures. Okay. So now we're just sitting here. So, just in case we don't faint or die. Yeah, this is where you sit and wait, and, uh, and so that you if you have anaphylactic. Oh, I'm having anaphylactic shock. Excuse me. Jesus. What are they yelling? At? Fucking later, lady. So anyway, we sit and wait, but we got our we got our uh, first shot. Up, and our, ne our next Jesus. shot is about five weeks away, isn't it? I'll yeah. call you when I get home. Next shot's about five weeks away. Oh, well. Uh, how do you feel? I'm freezing. We, we, we got a COVID shot. We got shot. a COVID shot. Huh? We got a COVID we shot. We got a COVID shot. We're only 50%, though. Uh, yeah, but it's, it's, it's over. 50%. <laughs> Look at all these people are going to have to wait for the next seven hours. Seven hours are gonna have to wait. Oh my God. Actually, we only had to wait two hours. Yeah, but two hours in this cold is hard. Yeah, but two hours is all we had to wait. Yeah. These people are gonna have to wait three. Well, let's see what's around the corner. Didn't you want your glove? Yeah. Oh, hold on to it for a second. Let's just see what it's sort of like around the corner here. This is a kind of I could. Huh? Actually, instead of running this video, we could just run our election vi yeah. video to the same effect. Oh uh, well, we waited two hours. These guys are at least another hour. Good luck, folks. Huh? Good luck. Well, anyway. <laughs> it's over. We got our shot. We're 50%. We're 50% covered. Yeah. And then we get 20, about uh, five weeks, we get yeah. the next one. Yeah. And anyway. Anyway, it's over. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> anyway, that's that's what went ha happened. By the way, uh, uh, excuse the fast editing. I had to edit that thing really fast tonight, and I somehow that thing said subtitles and stuff there. Forget about it.
you don't, you don't mind. You get the idea. That's what we had to go through today just to get the shot. Now, I want to remind you that they said in their email, okay, to me, okay, arrive no more than five minutes prior to your scheduled appointment. Why? So I can wait for two hours? I mean, this was ridiculous. And then they said to me, um, they said, uh, well, we had a little problem. People, uh, we, got, we got a late start this morning. Really? You got a late start? What kind of inefficiency is that? You know? Now, also, they, they say, you know, you will receive a reminder on the morning of your appointment with additional screening questions you have to complete so you can get that QR code, right? So I'm worried for a week. You know me. I'm worried for a week. I'm not going to get that email that I'd, somehow it's going to go into my spam or something and I'll miss it. And uh, it turns out that I wake up in the morning and they not only send me that email, they send it to me. Are you ready for this? 19 times. Yeah, 19 times. What the fuck is going on with this city? I mean, we did get our shot. Okay, we got the uh, the uh, the shots in this arm. They say some people say it, their arm hurts afterwards. Mine doesn't hurt at all, you know. Uh, but I mean, it's just it's it's a killer. It really is. And you know, I think about old people, of which I count myself as one of them, but I, I still have a certain amount of my wits about me, and I know how, how these things operate, and I know about email, and where to look for email if you don't get it, and da 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 um, But if you're, if you're old and have to go through this whole thing, to begin with just standing out there in that freezing cold for two hours to get a shot is un called for. I, uh, I said to the woman when she came by, I said, there's a bigger chance I'm going to get pneumonia than COVID, okay? And I may just die from, from getting pneumonia, from standing out here. I mean, it was re unrelentingly cold. And uh, you should say, well, don't gripe. You got your shot. Well, now I got to get the second one. And you know what I had to go through to do that? A guy told me at the thing here. Just let's go to the uh, let's go to the site and you do it on my phone. And here you answer this and answer this and answer this. Okay, you, it says there you're ready to go for like three ten on the twenty seventh. Now that's five over five weeks away. Okay, uh, and uh, I I say okay over five weeks away. Uh, yeah, and I then go home and I find that it didn't take because he forgot to tell me to push a button that said make appointment. And he did the same thing to Marjorie. She didn't push make appointment, so we didn't have appointments. So I rushed on there and I got us appointments for a couple of hours later, about an hour later on, uh, on, on the 27th. But, I mean, just things like that. I mean, come on. What they should do is once you get the shot, they type into, the, uh, into a computer and they just say, okay, now you're scheduled to come back here. Is it okay on this date at this time? And then you go, yeah, that sounds good to me. Rather than allowing me to even leave the place and have to go home and perhaps try to figure out how to do this whole thing, and not be able to accomplish it. I mean, I'm, I'm talking about not me, but other people. And then giving up on the whole thing and not getting the second shot. Uh, it is, uh, I mean, I thought you would, when you, when you went there, after it was all over, they would just give you a little, you know, thing and say, okay, you're good to go now for your next appointment because you made this appointment, this appointment is going to be then. No, no way. So, I mean, it is just, it is the world's biggest clusterfuck. Now, to add to that, my friend Shecky, as you know, had an appointment for tomorrow at one of the city hubs, very similar to what we went to today. 
and he got a thing this morning saying we're going to have to cancel your appointment because we've run out of vaccine. So we're moving your appointment to next week. Who knows if they'll have the vaccine next week? What this city is doing is so stupid, and so is the governor. They're all massive morons when it comes to this thing. What they're doing is they don't have enough vaccine to go around. They, they, they're only, they were supposed to get 300,000 doses. They got 250,000 this week. Okay? All right. Blame that on the government. But what you don't do is open up more places to give the shots out. Every day they're saying, we have another 20 more places you can go, and we've got Met Stadium, and they're going to be 24 7. Hey, what are you saying that for? You can't take care of the places that are already opened. So why are you suddenly siphoning people into all these other places? And then the governor is doing things like taking some of the vaccine and sending it down to Javits Center because that's one of his places and depriving Mount Sinai, which is a hospital, from being able to give it to their patients. I, you know, it, it is insane what's happening in this state. now. Let's contrast that with California, okay? California, I hear from Kevin, and a lot of other people are out in California, that they just go down, they went to the place, they made appointment, they go down there, they drive down there, I think maybe some are drive-ins, you know, you stick your arm out the window and they give you the shot. That's simple. And Kevin said he was in and out in no time flat. Now, how come California can pull it off, but New York can't? It's because we got a governor who's trying to make himself look good by saying, I just opened up um, the, the Met Stadium. We're going to be there 24-7 giving out shots. Oh, we want to get out so many shots in a given week. Yeah, but do you have the vaccine? Well, no. So why are you suddenly driving people to do this? Okay. So anyway, plus I'm tired. I'm, I'm tired from waiting out there, and I'm tired because I didn't get enough sleep last night because when I woke up about 8 o'clock, Marjorie said, oh, we got the, the email, so I had to go see it immediately. And I go into my, my thing here, and I've got literally 19 emails, the same email, over and over and over and over again. Ah, oh, God. Oh, it was just, it was, it was horrid. It was just horrid. And then, of course, after, you know, waiting that long, you get the shot. And um, I got the shot from some woman who didn't even know what, what I had to do afterwards, okay? I got that information from another person that Marjorie was dealing with. And I just, I, I just, it, it, and then we had to sit there for like 15 minutes or so. But anyway, I'm exhausted. I'm tired. And no, Tony, I'm not tired because of the COVID shot. I don't think. Uh, there are, there are things that can happen. I mean, you can get tired and get some fatigue and I don't know. Uh, but it, 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 it basically, it's nothing after the fact. I'm just exhausted. From having gone through all of that, and I got to do this again now. Now, when we go back, we got to go back. We got a four. I got a four twenty appointment. She's got a four forty appointment, and and we don't know how long we're going to have to stand out there. It could be that by that time they'll get their shit together, and a couple of, about a day before, I'm going to go out there and look and see how long the line is. And if it's really long, then we'll go down a, a, a great deal earlier. But I don't want them saying to us, "Well, you know." Uh, uh, we, you had a late day appointment. Uh, we've run out of time. We want to go home. And uh, my, my hat's off, by the way, to the people who are running the place. They're doing the best they can under the circumstances. But something's going wrong, and something is not happening right. So I wrote a nasty letter to the city, to the mayor. And I doubt if I will ever hear back from him. Let me tell you one other thing that got to me in the last 24 hours. As you know, I was bidding for the uh, URL, gabnet.com. Not that I ever intended to use it. I just didn't want anybody else to have it. I've got gabnet.net. I built some goodwill around this, or bad will, or no will at all. Uh, and uh, I, uh, you know, I really... 
uh, I wanted to get it. So I, I was bidding on it, bidding on it, and all of a sudden somebody bid like, you know, 700 bucks, and everybody else dropped out, and so did I. I wasn't going to pay that much money. I mean, I've got Gabnet.net. It sounds nice. It works well. Nobody complains about ever. I've never had to get confused once, okay? Uh, in fact, you might get more confused with Gabnet.com because the net is at the end of the word. Anyway, I get this thing, and it says, uh, would you like to buy it? So I go, okay, I want to check this out just to hear what they got to say. And it's this company called Enternick or something like that. But the guy's email address is an at godaddy.com. And the stationery has GoDaddy at the top and then two other companies listed at the top. And I'm just beginning to think there's something really hinky going on there where, where uh, GoDaddy sees a, a URL and they see that it isn't really going for a lot of money. So what they do is they raise their price so all everybody else drops out. They buy it and then they go out themselves under a secondary company and sell it. And I consider that wrong. So... I think I'm going to get a letter out to some of the uh, some of the officials in our government about it. You know, uh, I, I'm you know it's things like that that are getting to me. Uh, the only thing that really was nice was today watching the inauguration. You know, I figured it'd be just kind of a dull affair, but it was just so nice. Uh, and the thing they did last night, you know, for the COVID dead, and then the thing to the a short the shortest speech probably I can remember in recent memory of a uh, of a uh, 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 president elect giving at his inauguration. Uh, the only one I remember that maybe shorter than I think it was only like about fifteen minutes, and I think the only one shorter than that was maybe Roosevelt's in his fourth term because it was in the middle of World War II and he didn't want to really have a big to-do going on. He felt that would be in bad taste. But it was really nice, and Lady Gaga sang the Star Spangled Banner and didn't do it with too many flourishes and really did it well, although the dress she was wearing had something to be desired. She wore this dress that made her look like a giant tomato. Uh, and uh, so that didn't... Didn't, didn't. Marjorie didn't like that. I said, well, at least you didn't dre dress up uh, using roast beef and salami, you know. So. Uh, but And then this girl, I can't remember her name now. Um, hmm. What is her name? I just, I had it here and then I lost it. Uh, the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the, 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 what is it? The stu student? They call her student or s junior uh, poet laureate of the United States, and she was wonderful. She was like the star of the show. She really was. They loved it. They loved it. Um, Al, uh, uh, Alan says, is there a show today? Of course there is, Alan. What, what's this? Why? Because I'm talking till... Um, uh, eh, okay, we'll just... If you're, that's your form of griping, then we'll get, let everybody in here. And go to the uh, uh, to the Zoom. Uh, let's see here. Let me see the Zoom panel. There they go. They're coming up. Trucker Steve's there, and Alan's there, and Charlie Wallace, and Jeffrey. And uh, yeah, I'm really tired tonight. And no, uh, 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 Tony, it's not because of COVID. Okay, not because of the shot. Tony kept nagging me and nagging me and nagging. Me. Did you get the shot yet? Did you get it yet? You know, you're going to get it. You're going to get it? You got it yet? And um, I finally had to write him back and said, well, you quit asking me. I haven't got it yet, okay? I mean, I'm glad he was concerned. Fucking New Yorkers have nothing better to but do. But then he writes me and he's going, <laughs> you know, I, you're going to get a headache and you're going to get uh, tired and you're going to get... Everybody fatigued. gets different symptoms. I mean, I'm fatigued tonight because I went through a pretty exhausting day and I didn't have that much sleep, sleep last night. So, And I hope I do get sick for a day. Then I can take the day off here. But I'm not getting sick and I'm, I'm feeling 
I was listening to you ramble, wondering if you were going to have a show. Oh, shit. I are we drinking? Champagne. I thought we are drinking tonight. Oh, you know something? I already right. have half the bottle done. Wait a minute. Well, <laughs> uh, I, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do Snapple. I, I do have some champagne here, Woo! but I'm not a big champagne drinker to be wasted on me. And uh, Marjorie said, you know, you can open it up. What, what have you got there, Trucker Steve? See, he can't even drink because he's on the road. I'm going to drive. I can't drink. No. Right, right. And, and me, Brian's drinking Mom's $12 bottle of California sparkling wine. <laughs> yeah, but it's my fourth bottle already. So Okay, I, there you go. <laughs> I've been crying all day with Charlie. Uh, yep. <laughs> You mean, I'm, I still tear up thinking about it. That that poet, she was off the hook. Yeah, yeah. she was real, man. She I believe just, she's like twenty two. Gee, yeah, yeah, yeah. She was very good. I thought she was like fifteen. I mean, she looked really <laughs> looked real young. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, really young. She was fourteen. Yeah, but uh, she she was she was fine. You know, she was yeah. really good. <laughs> Uh, but uh, did you see what I what I had here? Wait a minute, let me go to my Facebook page here. Uh, I think you can probably see this uh, because this is a this is kind of funny. This is a, a, a picture they took today. It's a very good, a very a very good picture of um, of uh, what's his name of uh, uh, of uh, Trump, uh, and he just arrived at Mar-a-Lago and decided to. Uh, Decided to hit the beach. So oh, no. if, if, I saw your picture. Yeah. Close your eyes now. <laughs> you never unsee it. Uh, It'll be ingrained in your head forever. <laughs> Let's see the picture. That picture. Isn't, um, that, isn't that great? Um, hmm? they, are, they, they can't see it unless they look at the show. Good. We yeah. don't want to see it. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I don't know who that is, but they, it's a funny picture. I, I think <laughs> Look like the sand does not stick into his ass because they got anti monkey butt on it. Anti oh my god! <laughs> hey, by the way, oh this god. program is brought to you by Monkey Butt. <laughs> anti monkey yeah. butt. Yes, orangutan butt. Yeah, that the trucker Steve is holding it up for everybody. Mm -hmm. right, thanks, there. thanks, Steve. Uh, thank you. Yeah, we got it. Pretty. Hope you don't bring up your dinner. Let me see here. So anyway, so it it, <clears throat> it, uh, it was so anyway. So I had my uh, I had my <clears throat> shot today, and it was I mean, it, come on, you know, if you're saying sixty five and over, and then you're making people wait two hours in the cold, there's something just obscene about that, you know. You didn't mind Saturday, really? <clears throat> hold, hold on a second, Jeffrey. What? I found out something incredibly different. What? Somebody else who I know, mm -hmm. her and her husband, mm -hmm. who are under 65, mm -hmm. they got their shots in Connecticut today. How? Sneaky. They run at the end of the day in certain places, mm -hmm. they run out. They they run out, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. There's also well, some well, that have them. some left over. That's right. So their friend who happens to run the joint calls her up and says, I got some extra injections. If you're here in 10 seconds, I'll give you your shots. Huh. And she got them. Isn't there something illegal about that? I, <laughs> I, I ought to be. I'm not an attorney. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Well, you know what's funny is that we I got it. I was sitting there watching my email because mm. I was working on something, and the message pops up: "Hey, we got some vaccine. Come on and schedule an appointment." Out. I came on. I tried to get one for tomorrow. All those are filled up. I tried to get one for Friday. All those are filled up. I jumped the Saturday. Just barely got one Saturday afternoon. Really? Are you sure it's real? They sent me an email with a barcode and everything, so I think it's real. Yeah, well, but I'm oh, saying oh, the thing that I, oh, hey, the best thing about my barcode, they never once asked for the barcode. Oh, wonderful! Never <laughs> once they said. By the way, don't forget, we're going to be sending you an email, and then you got to download the barcode. And then when I tried to print it, I couldn't because it printed it half on one page, half on the other. 
Yeah. You, you know? Oh, no. Did so, you have to show them your driver's so license? So I then had something? to kind of cut it out, you know, and then do it. And I printed it up. And uh, I go over there. I've got everything, right? Uh, do you need the barcode? No. <laughs> what did you ask for the barcode for? They didn't even have, uh, it's one of those QR codes, right? They, they didn't even have a QR code reader. <laughs> so and, it was just. And by the way, I looked at, I took my QR reader from my phone. And hi there, Vernon's drinking. He's happy tonight. <laughs> and, and and we uh uh I, I what was it so i uh i used the qr thing to read the code to see what it said it was the id number i had on the page yeah so it was just camouflage yeah i mean geez <laughs> almighty i mean why put us through this whole rigmarole just say <laughs> you have an appointment for such and such a time enough? show up hopefully we'll be able to get you in in a reasonable amount of time why don't you go to the front of the line and tell them you're Alex Bennett? Right. There you go. Because they would look at me and go, who? Who? Who are you? <laughs> so and what's they, to stop you from showing up like two hours before your, I mean, you know, 10 yeah. hours. I mean, it's 8 o'clock in the morning. Yeah. Well, I mean, we're going to go for this other one. We're going to go 3 o'clock in the afternoon if it, if it looks like there's a line or whatever. And we're just going to say, you know, when we show up, well, you know. Last time we were here, we waited for two hours. So you take us now, you know. Yes, Alan. Did you get the Moderna? Yes. Good. Yeah. Good. Yeah. It's uh, you know because this is a this was a school. I doubt if they have the kind of freezers you need for the Pfizer, you know. Uh, Moderna has to be below zero too, so well, well, just just not no, as far. No, no, it can be, but it can be in a refrigerator. It can be in a freezer and refrigerator for a couple hours. Yeah, yeah. So, so I I have something to show off that's appropriate for Trump. Mm -hmm. I don't know how well you can see this. <laughs> it's a little statue. It's got a hat. It says "Make America Great" on it. Mm -hmm. The other side. And then the back, the back side's the best because it's a pin holder <laughs> that I've had for years. I forgot about. So I thought since you're not getting my jokes, I thought I would show you Trump. Yeah, no, that's very, very good. I wish I had a good camera on this damn computer. But, but uh, yeah, there you go. We anyway, saw, uh, getting back, getting yeah. back to this thing, I just think it's unconscionable that they did this. Because of oh, just people are old people. I mean, like, I'm an old guy, yeah. you know. I don't want to sit out there freezing my ass off. And, I mean, there were older people than me in line, you know. Wow. That's yeah, awesome. How, the I mean, how there, was the crowd? Well, there were, there, were, there were young people there, too. But there were people who, I had, there was a woman who was younger than us uh, in line. And I said, what is your, what's the reason you're here? And she says, I'm uh, I take care of some people. I take care of my health care provider. Yeah. So I, you know, yeah, of course. Go right ahead. Just yeah. Like prison. What are you here for? Yeah, what are you in <laughs> for? Well, I mean, I, what are you here for? I, I just, what? you know, I was just, uh, I don't know. I just, I, I. Did you get your free coupons for denture cream? No, no, they didn't have any little <laughs> prizes. You know, when we went, the same place we went to vote, and by the way, that was a faster process. <laughs> uh, uh, but uh, that was a faster process. But so it was the same place we went to vote, which is is cool. Um, what's the point I'm trying to make? Because I'm I'm loopy tonight. Um, um, but it, it didn't, it didn't go that fast. It went, you know, that took us about maybe 45 minutes, an hour tops. It's two hours for this thing. Two hours, most of it out in the cold. How many people were <laughs> shooting up? Hmm? Time. <laughs> well, they, they had a whole bunch of people doing the shooting up. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, they, you know, they, they were, it, it's just amazing. They couldn't go faster. Yeah. You know, and, and my feeling is if you're the city and you say, OK, out at this school, it's going very slowly. We got them backed up. Around. I mean, literally, it was. And if you don't know New York, then you don't know the, what I'm saying. But it was about a third into the block, maybe a half into the block was the school. 
Okay. Then it all went down to the corner, then around to the other street, down the whole street, and back again to about the same place on the other street. <clears throat> okay. Uh, by the time we left. And I think that was maybe, um, for those people, maybe a three-hour wait. Wow. The ones you told us it was seven hours? Huh? Yeah, yeah. You are telling them seven hours. <laughs> yeah. Oh, what a prick. I, uh, you know, <laughs> I, I said to the woman, I said, I, my chances of getting a pneumonia are, are, are uh, um, uh, my chances of getting COVID are less than my chances that I'm going to get pneumonia trying to get the COVID shot. You know, it was really, it was really pathetic, just terrible, just horrible. Well, you guys talk. I'm tired. I know, Tony. <laughs> I've got fatigue from the shot. No, my arm isn't even hurting. You know, they say that you need twelve to twenty-four hours for side effects. So. What's this? Oh, well, good. That's good to know. Thank you, Alan. I appreciate. Yeah, no that. problem. <laughs> yes, uh, uh, Vernon. What happened to your hand? Oh, that's just uh, one of those compression gloves. I've got a little arthritis in that thumb, and so that compression glove makes it feel better. Oh, really? Oh, okay, good. Oh, yeah. Copper? Those, yeah. yeah, the Tommy Copper. copper Tommy Copper. Oh, yeah, it has, really? The fingertips are open, so I can still use my touchscreen. Oh. But anyway, what I wanted to mention is uh, our beloved state, uh, represented by Rand Paul mm -hmm. and Mitch McConnell, Rand Paul, by the way, was one of the six who voted against Averill Haynes, the new director of national intelligence. Mm -hmm. And he's, he, he was only one. And Mitch McConnell voted for her. But our state legislature has super majorities in both the House and the Senate. Mm -hmm. And House Bill number one in the new session basically says that Businesses, churches, nonprofits can stay open as long as they follow CDC guidelines or the executive branch, whichever is least restrictive. Least? Yeah. In other words, Republicans are supposed to be all about states' rights. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Now they're saying the federal agency takes precedent over the state's governor because the governor is a Democrat. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Always like that. Mm. They're fucking hypocrites. Now he's going to veto it. They're going to override it. Then they're going to go to court that it might be unconstitutional against the state constitution for them to tie the governor's hands like that. Yeah. Mm. Well, that's this not guy apparently is a well qualified person, right? Well, he's the son of a former governor, and he was the attorney general before he became governor. Well, uh, let me bring up something to you that, that kind of, you know, gets to me in a way. Uh, look, Mitch McConnell's an asshole. We all know that, you know. He, he, he almost prided himself in his assholeness. He relished in it, all mm -hmm. right? Okay, that being the case, Mitch McConnell in the last couple of weeks has suddenly done a 180, Okay. And he's being cooperative with Biden, and he's doing a whole bunch of what we would call positive things. Well, people get on MSNBC and they go, well, where was he all these years? <laughs> well, no, mm -hmm. he was an asshole all these years. But now that he's being good, isn't positive reinforcement a good idea? Like, good, Mitch. Very nice of you, Mitch. Thank you for doing that. You've been send a, him a flower. You've been it a wouldn't piece, matter. You've been, you've been a piece it's of shit. Here. Well, you've been a piece of shit Fuck for all them. these years, but at least you're doing something right now. Continue doing stuff right, and we'll keep patting you on your little head. Because no, he doesn't have any power anymore. Who cares? Well, mm. it, it, the point I'm making here is is that I think that that we have a tendency when people change their ways for whatever reason, and when they've been just disgusting for years that we all of a sudden get suspicious like oh well they can't they can't they can't do something nice it's not possible but Mitch McConnell <clears throat> the last couple of days has done some very decent things you know I mean, yeah. he, he said he's Alex. for the, he's for the impeachment yeah but Alex the only reason he's for that is because he's seeing all these corporate uh, money donors drying up because you know 
because of Trump. So you know he's he he's just changed his tune because he sees the money driving yeah, but he, up. I don't know that all he, the money. I don't, That's where I, don't, I don't know that he cares about that yeah. because number one, I don't think Mitch McConnell is going to stay out his latest term. I, I honestly think that. He's gotten to, now that he's no longer speaker of the uh, rather uh, uh, majority, leader. majority leader of the Senate. I think he's tired of the game, and I think he will probably like resign in a couple of years and give it to somebody else. You know, you can only hope. Well, you can only hope, or the guy he might give it to might be a bigger asshole. Mm -hmm. Do, do well, we know how long? His term is right now. He's still he was just reelected. Re re oh, he was really? just reelected. Okay. So he's yeah. got six years. So he's got six years, unless he resigns before that time, in which case the governor has three more years left. He could re appoint a replacement. Yeah, and, and I it would be a it, Democrat. It, it would be a Democrat. Huh? Yeah. yeah, I'm all for them replacing uh, somebody with somebody of the same flavor. Yeah. You know, um, because that's as it was intended by the people of the state. I mean, if you take somebody like Mitch McConnell, he says, "I no longer want to be." Senator and the Republican, the Democratic uh, governor says, okay, I'm appointing a, a Democrat. Is that really what the people voted for? You know, is that in the spirit really. of what they voted for? I'm just asking questions here. I don't yeah, well, matter. I really it don't matter because, you know, it's, 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 you know, the, the, the people voted for a Democratic Democrat governor. So they get a, he's got the power. They gave the power to him to, Appoint a senator. Mm -hmm. I guess you know. Yeah, but somebody has has the opportunity to make decisions. Yeah, and they can go it positive or negative. Yeah, yeah. but politics enters into it. Look at some of the well, people sure, who, who could have guy, been put. A guy's retiring, and he's leaving, and he goes, "Oh yeah, but I'm leaving early, so I want so and so to replace me." What are you gonna do? That may not have any any weight though, with politics being as uh, bipolar as it is right now. But, yeah. he, but he may get that job. Yeah. Well, of course, we all know that Kamala Harris is is a quitter. That's uh, right. Yeah, she quit. <laughs> she quit uh, when she quit yesterday, right? Was it yesterday? Oh, Day before mm, yesterday? I, think it was I didn't. Monday I didn't one. know Joe Biden was um, a coach in the NBA. He's coaching the. Uh, San, Anto San Antonio Spurs tonight. Joe Biden? Yeah. Yeah, but he said another Joe Biden, right? Must be. Well, that's I not don't, Joe Biden? If, if there's a joke there, I don't get it because... Yeah, I, I didn't either. either the, guy, the guy who coaches San Antonio Spurs is a spitting image of Joe Biden. Oh, oh okay. Oh. Popovich? Yeah, Popovich, yeah. Yeah, but Popovich. nobody cares about the Spurs, so why would we care about <laughs> Playing the Warriors, I was just watching it. I thought, hey, that looks like. And if you had asked me who is the uh, who's the head coach of the uh, San Antonio Spurs, I couldn't begin to tell you. Uh, well, you know, I, I just since we're on that subject, yeah. My cousin from Chicago, Herbie, he looks a lot like you, Alex. So now everybody knows. Ooh. <laughs> okay. Women chase him all down the street and want to get into his pants. Uh, you know, <laughs> and so you know, I was talking last night with uh, with uh, with. Uh, um, um, oh boy, my mind is. Uh, Shacky. No. Um, oh, what's the name? Uh, Stephen uh, Kravitz. Kravitz. Steve Kravitz. Oh, yeah. uh, about my lack of knowledge of sports, and my lack of caring, but I failed to mention at the time because I like to mention it is that I am the possessor. Of a sports of Emmy. <laughs> Professor of a what? Sports a sports Emmy. Emmy. He's a he has an Emmy. You have a sports yeah. Emmy. A sports I, I, Emmy. I have an Emmy. That's right. Yes. Mm -hmm. I have a sports prime Emmy. Primetime Emmy. Not prime time. No, it's a local Emmy in the Bay Area. How come what? we never saw it? Well, oh, we've, we've seen, seen it. it. We've, we've seen, seen it. it. I brought, oh, okay. Yes. I've seen it, it many <laughs> times. <laughs> Well, I've only brought it onto this show about once. What did they oh, give it to you? Once, once, no, no. once a week. <laughs> Why did they give it to you? Shall I go, you, you shall get I, you. Shall I go get it? Okay, bye. Good night, guys. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Just tell us why they gave it to you. Because I won it. 
Oh. It was a good reason. He told us the whole story. Yeah. Yeah. I was on a, uh, they had a, a, they have a thing in San Francisco called the Beta Breakers, which is a race. Oh, yeah. yeah okay. Yeah. And uh, every year, KPIX TV station does the Beta mm -hmm. Breakers, uh, the race. And then they have a Beta Breakers wrap up show. And I did a piece on the wrap up show uh, about a, uh, you know, my guide to, how you survive the Beta Breakers race. And it's me with a bunch of, uh, uh, I got a bunch of strippers from a local strip joint and they're <laughs> following me around and I'm, I'm with them in a limousine going along the way, giving stuff. It's a, I could show it to you if you want me to. Oh, no. A well-deserved <laughs> Yeah, show it to us. No, if, if you, saw, you earned it. If you saw the piece, you would agree. It's, yeah. I think it's one of the best things I ever did. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, I wish Wonderful. Trump was back. I loved it. I miss Trump. I miss Trump already. <laughs> Show it to us, Alex. Show yeah, it to put us. It on, put it on the website or something. Well, I, well, I can't. I'll, uh, maybe I'll put it up on. Uh, I'll, I'll put it up on Facebook. But anyway. So I I don't I, have Facebook. So this show, <laughs> the show I was uh, on, won an Emmy. Okay. Uh, and it won an Emmy for all the performers on that show. So I was one of the performers. So I got an Emmy with my name on it. Did the strippers get Emmys too? Perform. No, no, just Those me. Those girls were gorgeous. Did Here's the girls me. get the Emmys too? <laughs> huh? Did the girls get their Emmys too? Did the girls get the Emmys as Through well? Through the show. That was after the wrap-up show. <laughs> no, yeah. no, no. But anyway, no? so, so here, here's what happened. So anyway. Only so, the talent gets the, but the, the Emmy. I, yeah. I, I said um, uh, the next year I got nominated again. But this time it wasn't for sports. It was for a, a computer show I was on, for the pieces that I did. And that's the one I'm most proud of because that's for my performance as a person on a show. And, yes, thank you very much. Uh, and so I, I have two. I'm a, I'm I'm a two-time Emmy Award winner. Ooh. That, that was, was that Alex Bennett wired again? No, no, that one. They actually, <laughs> when I when I did uh, Alex Bennett's uh, Alex Bennett wired again, which by the way, if you want to see it, it's on uh, Roku on our uh, Gabnet TV, uh, oh. and I think it's also on my regular Gabnet too as well. Um, that uh, that one um, that one when I did uh, Wired Again, the TV sh uh, show, an hour long TV show for Channel 44 in San Francisco, it was so bad that they actually asked me to give back my two Emmys. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Um, they said, it, it, uh, it may be the worst, I, I put it up and I said, it's the worst special ever done. Mm -hmm. Horrible show, just ghastly. There's yeah. maybe one part of it I like and I'd be happy to show. Um, but it was like a whole half hour show, though, wasn't it? It was a whole like, hour. Yeah, a whole it was hour. An right? Hour of just horrible, horrible stuff. You uh, should have just brought Slayton on and a bunch of comedians well, and just started doing scam. I just hired this guy to write it, and you know, we hired this guy to write it and direct it, and uh, uh, he, the whole thing just, you know. <laughs> after I did that, the one there's one piece in that show that I liked where I was running around the marina talking to people and doing stuff about the marina and that worked so i learned that when i went and did log on tv uh that that's probably what i should be doing is something like that you know uh, it, it it was the most horrible special ever and i'm proud of it so if you go to gabnet tv on roku you'll find Alex Bennett wired again, restored, by the way, because what happened was we had to change the name of it because Wired Magazine said we couldn't infringe on their trademark. <laughs> mm. and, 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 and it wasn't an infringement on their trademark because the term wired means you're hopped up, uh -huh. right? And, yeah. I'm, and, and, you know, I was getting high all the time. So it was Alex Bennett wired again. All right. Yeah. Had no. Re uh, although we did do some things about technology in it, it wasn't a technology show. So they threatened to sue if we ran it. As Alex Bennett wired again, 
Uh, and the, the people at Channel 44 said, look, we, we could let them sue us, and then we would have to defend it, and then it would cost us a lot of money. Meanwhile, we wouldn't be able to play the show anyway, so why don't we just scratch out the word wired on the title? So we just scratched it out, literally, <laughs> and, and ran the show. And what I did is I found some promos that were done for the show. It was wired again. So I took the slides from those promos, the, the logo for the show from those, and then I sliced them into the current one that's on, uh, on uh, GabNet TV, on Roku. And that is the restored version with the original title. I rest my case. The best thing about the sh that show was the first part of it, my mother. Uh, she's, she opens the show. Okay. And, you know, and she, she does this whole bit about, you know, uh, Alex Bennett, is, this, my, this show stars my son, Alex Bennett, and uh, be sure to ask me first before you decide on having children. <laughs> <laughs> She was wonderful. She was wonderful on it. I, mean, I, I wish there was some way I could just play it for you now or some parts of it, but I, there's no... I can't do that. So. Hmm. What the hell? Who did we just lose? Did we lose somebody? Vernon. Vernon. Yes, one person. Oh, we lost Vernon? Yeah, we lost Vernon. Vernon. Hmm. There you go. Yeah. Hmm. So it sounds like Biden's not wasting any time uh, reversing... You Trump stuff. Well, I said to uh, I said to Marjorie, I said I, I bet today he like um, you know. Uh, uh, by the way, Vernon, if you're out there, call back, will you? Please call back. I I don't think he was bored or anything, you know. Alex God, hung up on you. You're bored. God knows we've been we've been <laughs> more boring than this, and he stuck around. So. Yeah. Uh, uh, no, I told Marjorie. I said I, I bet he. He goes back to the office and signs a whole bunch of things yeah. today. And he did. Yeah, he yeah. did. He had a pile of them yeah. like this. Yeah. yeah. And uh, uh, he uh, he signed them. He, 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 we're back uh, with the uh, accords on, on climate change. Yeah. And uh, I, think, I think he's going to go back to the nuclear deal on Iran, but I think he wants to, you know, reapproach Iran and get that whole thing yeah. going again. Uh, yeah. What else did he do? He did one other thing that was major. Oh, he uh, he stopped the uh, construction on the wall. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> how, can he do that? How, how can he do that when it's already completed? It's too late. He's going to sell it. What's what he doing? Well, he he you did know. the, the um, mandate mass, uh, 100 days mass wearing challenge for uh, transportation and federal <laughs> facilities. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And he extended the moratorium on student loan payments. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that helps I, me. I mean, these were things that were no brainer. You know, all he had yeah. was just reversing stuff that Trump had done. Oh, he also uh, uh, reversed the Muslim ban. Yes. Mm -hmm. As well. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So this has got to be. He, ex he every accepted the agreement with what, European people that were. We're friends of them again, something like that. Oh, yeah. Well, we, you know, we never. We're going to rejoin NATO. NATO, that's. <laughs> oh, and uh, who? <laughs> oh, that was the World Health well, Organization. Wait a minute. Yeah. Here's, yeah. here's yeah, World Health Organization. And I think, what's his name? Is going tomorrow or right away? Yeah, here's uh, to here, the well, next he, meeting. Here's Vernon again. Vernon, what were some of the things that he uh, he signed today? Uh, one was the rescinded the permit for the uh, the pipeline. Yeah, Keys, yeah, yeah, Keystone, yeah, Keystone pipeline. He yeah. also he also put a moratorium on any um, any uh, leases in the uh, Arctic wildlife drilling in the Arctic wildlife. Very pressure. good, very mm -hmm. good. Yeah. Environmental stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Already he's been off been in office one day or a half a day. Mm -hmm. Actually, he was there just for a couple hours, and already he's yeah. done more than Donald Trump did in four years. Four years. Uh, yeah. But uh, there's going to be a lot of stuff to undo. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. it's gonna it's gonna take quite a while. Absolutely. Uh, and uh, well, I don't think it needs to be the priority, but it, it it's becoming more and more apparent to me that 
the District of Columbia needs to be a state. Yeah. And so does Puerto Rico. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, let me ask you this, though. Did you have you, tonight? They, of course, kept showing shots of the White House. Hmm. Did it look cleaner? <laughs> Somehow they spent just five hundred thousand dollars. The GAO yeah. spent five hundred thousand dollars refurbishing the White House after Trump left. Yeah. Oh yeah. They spent five hours yeah. going inch by inch. But he they had to get all the orange hair dye stains out of the carpet. Yeah, well, but and all the backs of the chairs. <laughs> yeah, but you know something that that all the gold toilets. Well, the, no, but the thing is, the gold um, uh, the, the gold um, uh, curtains are still there. Hmm. Yeah. I, wonder, I wonder if he's going to get rid of them. That's just a matter of he. Well, you know, he couldn't get these people couldn't get in there to do anything. You know, I think they just had to tell people just get rid of everything that says. You know what they got rid of, and it was the one thing that I think spoke uh, just uh, miles. Spoke uh, just about everything about. Trump and his uh, his all the McDonald's wrappers. No, <laughs> the, all the ketchup, no, the little ketchup no, thingies. I don't know if any of you noticed this over the years, but I noticed it constantly. The K cup rack in back of him. Oh, Did you really? ever notice the yeah. K cup rack in the Oval Office? There was a rack there with K cups in it. Really? Yes. Huh. You know, he couldn't leave that in the break room. <laughs> McDonald's and Taco Bell coffee? <laughs> Who knows? Who Might knows? have been Dunkin' Donuts, you know. Dunkin' Donuts. Dunkin' Donuts. They actually make K-Cups. They do. Or Dunkin' Donuts, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, but uh, anyway, so it's, you know, it, 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 it's... It's a quiet show, Alex, you know? Yeah, it is a quiet <laughs> show. And that's good. Well, where's that's the uh, Sergeant at Arms? You're oh, right. Yeah, oh, he, no meeting. Oh, jeez. What, what, how? We still have Doctor Doom here. Oh, yeah. Has he given oh. his report already? I mean, now that I got my shot, go ahead. Give it your best shot. <laughs> well, we we, <laughs> we topped four thousand dead today again for the third time. Thank you. Yeah. Four thousand two hundred sixty-one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know what gets me. Uh, I got a thing uh, from uh, Phil. Uh, him getting his COVID shot today. Thank you. And I'm going, how does he get a COVID shot so easily? <laughs> I mean, it seems like in California they're giving him away, you know, at, yeah. at McDonald's. You know? Right, right. He yeah, his prostate crazy. yanked out, Alex. Yeah, how? No. Oh, yeah, maybe. <laughs> no, I mean, he's over 65. That's a comorbidity. No, he's over 65. So yeah. he fits, you know. He can he can do it, but how did he get such a fast uh, a fast uh, uh, appointment? I mean, here if I want another appointment, it's not till like April, right? That's right. that's why I had to sign up today so fast to get my uh, just the time I got for the second shot, which is going to be five weeks away instead of four. Hmm. You know, but they had a thing that they said it's okay if you go five six weeks doesn't matter, you know. In fact, I read today that uh, really you don't have to, um, uh, it could well be, they don't know, see, uh, but that with the first shot of the Moderna, you may have something be afforded something like 80% protection, mm. maybe mm. upwards as high as that. It's less on the, uh, on the Pfizer. Mm. However, they give you four times as much stuff in the shot with the Moderna as they do with the Pfizer. Oh. You know. So. It's Four just, times the CCs? Yeah. It's just the density of the chemistry. It, it could be. It could be any one of a number of things. Yeah. But anyway, uh, the, the fact of the matter is, is that I, I read that it, you know, that, that you can actually have, after 12 days, a certain amount of protection against COVID yeah. for, uh, with just the first shot. And that's why in England, mm -hmm. they're waiting 12 weeks to give everybody the second shot, saying that if we give, wait 12 weeks to give everybody the second shot, we can give more people the first shot. Mm -hmm. Because it's the same shot. It's not like the second shot is a different formulation or whatever. 
Is this what you've heard, Brian? <clears throat> yeah, yeah, yeah. Just same. Yeah. So, like a booster. So they figure yeah. you could that you can wait at least twelve weeks. And so they're waiting for the 12 weeks, and they say you've got enough, uh, it affords you enough protection that people will probably not get COVID. Or if you get it, you won't get it as horribly, uh, uh, yeah, as horribly as you normally would. Is, is, am I, is, do you hear any of this, Brian, in your neck of the woods? Not my neck of the woods, but on the news, same thing I hear, yeah. Yeah. Well, my doctor says don't change your behavior just because you got the shot. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm not going out and, like, licking lampposts, okay? You know. So they, they have a new they have a new uh, law in California that, that uh, companies have to alert their, their employees if they have people that are testing positive. So we have, like, eight buildings in Sunnyvale, and so we're almost, well, I should say it. So, so we get information when they do have them, but mm -hmm. they're... Trying to, I'm trying to talk to upper management because they're, they're, they're not. I don't think they're doing a good job at trace contact, contact, yeah, contact Ooh. tracing because their people go from building to building all the time and stuff like that. So we're hearing, you know, rumors about people getting it, and we're like, wow, I was with that person reviewing records or something. Mm -hmm. So it's not perfect, but uh, it's it's still spiking around here really bad. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's by the way, or... one of the first executive actions that Biden signed says, if you enter federal property, yeah. you've got to wear a mask. Yeah. 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 And transportation. Yeah. And do you know that at the White House now, I heard somebody, this is one reporter on MSNBC said, oh, and now I have one of these. And it was a blue band. And uh -huh. they say you get the blue band when you get tested for COVID, which you have to be tested every time before you go into the White House. And then they give you the blue band, or maybe the next day it's a red band or whatever. Uh, and uh, they're not letting anybody in who hasn't been tested. I mean, they're, they're, and I watched uh, that whole thing today, and they did a pretty good job of keeping everybody away from everybody else. Mm-hmm. Did I hear that Ted Cruz, uh, Ted Cruz was at the... Uh... Yeah, yeah. Yep. He was at the inauguration. Boy, has yeah. he got nerve. <laughs> he was one of the people... Huh? He was one of the people that voted not to accept the federal <clears throat> vote. Yeah, did right. Anybody, uh, did anybody watch uh, Trump's uh, little party at the airport this morning? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. How many people beat. showed up? How many? Seventeen people showed up. No, <laughs> more than that. Uh, no, and I, half of them were his family. That's I, right. I, I, I was choking up. I don't know about you. I, I can imagine. <laughs> I was so I was in a big project today. We're in the building, and there's like ten, ten of us. Everyone social distancing, all stuff. And the lady had to come over here to ask me a couple of questions. And I happened to be watching watching Trump at that time, right when she walked up, and she just stared at me, evil stare, and said, "I just want to see him say goodbye." I don't even waste my time even looking at him anymore. <laughs> well, uh, it was, um, you know, I mean, he did a whole thing with the, with this. It was, did you, he did the talking about all his success. He did the 21 gun salute, didn't he? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I bet he didn't get shot. Yeah. Well, I know they should have aimed it at him. That's right. Um, it, 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 it's really, it's amazing. How much damage this guy did in the last four years? I mean, yeah. it just. Hi, how are you? Hey. How, how can that, how, just think? How can he live with himself knowing that literally the whole fucking world hates him? I mean, the only people that really like him are these, you know, hillbillies and sycophants. It's 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 like, how can you yeah, live with I, you yourself? You know, it, this is how stupid those hillbillies are is that they think Trump likes them. <laughs> when, when, it isn't like, isn't like Trump's moving to Kentucky, okay? Trump's moving yeah. to Mar-a-Lago. <laughs> At least for and now. He, and he, he can't live there permanently. Yeah, no, and, and he pardoned the guy that was ripping them off, you know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> They're so stupid. <laughs> uh, uh, did he pardon anybody that I that's important? I, I, Lil Wayne. Well, little Wayne. <laughs> Jim Jordan. Jim Jim Jordan got a medal of freedom. Well, he got a medal of freedom, but he didn't get pardoned. Well, he, we haven't found out what he's done yet. Yeah. 
But I mean, he didn't do uh, Ivanka, and he didn't do Jared, no, no. and he did. Did he no do? Kids. Did he do Giuliani? Oh no. wait a minute! Wait a minute now. If he did Ivanka and Jared, he'd be bisexual. Yeah. No, we're You're not talking the about that kind. On that one. That's not what we're talking about when we said do it. Oh. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm sorry. We're That's referring another drink. to an entirely different thing. Okay, all right. So anyway, so I, um, uh, uh, yeah. So I mean, he, uh, I, they say he does not have to say who he pardoned. That's right. That yeah. it, it doesn't have to be announced unless the people who are pardoned want to say they were. You know. And I don't know why, you know. I mean, uh, he did pardon Steve Bannon on the last day. Well, we do know yeah, he st- uh, pardoned Steve Bannon last night and Little Wayne. And uh, but but uh, I would have thought that he would have pardoned uh, Giuliani. Yeah. You know, because I think Giuliani is probably the most uh, susceptible to being in trouble after this is all over. Mm-hmm. Because I think if anybody was a uh, insurrectionist in that whole scenario, you yeah. could you could argue whether what Trump said was insurrection or not insurrection, or whether he was causing a riot or not causing a riot. We, I think it, he did, and he uh, he did. Uh, he said all the words you need to say to get somebody to go out and ransack Nancy Pelosi's office. Okay, mm-hmm. but. It's all open for interpretation. The stuff Giuliani sure. was saying was, you know, absolutely. Trial by combat. Uh, trial yeah. by combat. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. I mean, come on. But he, I guess he didn't. I guess he didn't pardon him. I know? don't understand why Don Jr. wasn't arrested on the sixth. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You, you're right. Yeah. You're right. You're absolutely correct. Even mm-hmm. more than Rudy, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, you know what this means. Uh, we can charge him with something, mm-hmm. yeah. you know. Yeah. Um, they're all going to have to deal with their crimes. Uh, I just think that we uh, we've we've had just such a corrupt administration and such a bad four years that it just feels like I just you know took a bath today, mm-hmm. and after after getting really dirty, <laughs> you know, and and. Um, it, it it's just sad. It's just sad. It's sad. I, I just didn't think, you know, as I, I go back and I always like to tell the story about Marjorie waking up in the middle of the night and saying who won the election. And I said, Donald Trump. And she said, oh, my God. And I said, well, don't worry. Maybe he'll turn out to be better than we believed. I mean, how much can you ruin a country in four years? Uh, well, I guess I was wrong because we found out. And, and the damage that was done to this uh, democracy uh, by someone who had no idea it was a democracy, uh, it was just uh, it, disgusting. Just he couldn't disgusting. even spell democracy. Yeah. That's right. Well, Vernon, your take on it, I mean, you're, you're, mm-hmm. you've been like Mr. Politics all this time. Mm-hmm. Now you got nothing to bitch about. Well, I'll have to come up with something. You'll you know? come up with something. Oh, oh the, the bad news this week? Mm-hmm. The lady who cuts my hair came down positive. Oh. So now now the next time the next little while as I'm on your show, I may start to look start looking like Scott Boddicker. Oh <laughs> really? Oh, okay. I mean that it, little ponytail. That kind of yeah. Willie Nelson look. Oh uh, yeah. 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 Uh, my wife says, Well, why don't you get one of the other ladies at the salon to cut your hair? And I said, No. Mm. No. Only one person cuts my hair. Yeah. <laughs> Wow. Been there, yep. and I've had her, I've, I've I've used her for for my haircuts for twenty years. Well, now this woman was cutting hair, right? So th- yeah. is that well, how she caught it? I uh, I don't think so. I think she may have caught it away from the shop, because when she was in the shop, she was wearing a mask the whole time. Yeah, mm-hmm. so you were safe from it. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Well, you know, I mean. Uh, it, it may have been like Tony's situation, you what know, I want where a family is, member comes in and they think yeah. they're in a safe bubble and they take off their mask. Well, what I want is for uh, this, the, you know, for for Pfizer and Moderna to really ramp up this stuff so that we really have just more doses than we'll ever need. Okay. Didn't um, Biden say he was going to use that uh, Defense Production Act? Yeah, the Defense yeah. Production Act. Ramp it up. Ramp yeah. to ramp it up. 
Um, the other thing is that, um, of course, we're going to have probably Johnson and Johnson coming into the fray here shortly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, and that AstraZeneca. Will, that will help things out. And then AstraZeneca. AstraZeneca they, might too. They say April for AstraZeneca. Mm -hmm. Uh, although it's being used in England now. So, you know, yeah. it, really, yeah. it should be enough for the CDC to say, well, if it's good enough for England, it's good enough for us, you know. Uh -oh. Another, there's, there's Rocky. And there's Rocky, one, mm -hmm. uh, one wonderful I animal. That, that's the biggest problem all these companies are going to have, just like we have, you know, with the mm -hmm. testing. You know, bringing up another factory isn't, isn't easy, and even... Uh, mm -hmm. Even when we have emergency use only, it's still we can only do so much in a certain window. So, all yeah, these other raw materials you know, might be a restriction too. One hundred percent. That that's the, one of the main things. Even if they have a factory or they can increase hours and more plants doing this instead of that, yeah, the the raw materials becomes a big issue. But when is the CDC going to uh, 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 say okay, it's no longer for emergency use? I mean, how, yeah, long, I, how long does that take? Avion flu, we were doing in September to the end of the year, 2009. And then we had uh, till April to have all of, our, all of our testing done and submitted. Yeah. So I guess like six months or so. Yeah, but I mean, didn't they get, didn't they do all their testing and present it to the CDC and the CDC gave them only emergency use? Mm -hmm. Because, well, I got this thing. Uh, well, let me re see if I can read it for you here. Sure. Um, Scott just wrote on the chat that uh, he took offense to my comment. Who? <laughs> Scott oh. Boddicker. Oh. Hey, oh. <laughs> oh, Vernon. Well, oh, Tommy's got to call yeah. in if he wants to defend himself. That's right. Yeah. yeah. You wish you looked like <laughs> Dave Grohl. What was that? <laughs> um, this is a PDF that I got here. Uh, and it says you're being offered the Moderna vaccine to prevent coronavirus, blah, 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 blah. Uh, it says Moderna is a vaccine that may prevent you from getting COVID-19. There is no U.S. Food or Drug Administration approved vaccine to prevent COVID-19. Is that true? Is that really how they look at it? Uh, yeah, it's, it's not 100%. It's yeah, not they, 100%. Uh, whatever the hell it is. They said that They're saying 95%, people. though. They, they, yeah. no, they haven't approved the vaccines. They're for emergency use only. Yeah, so they're, they're, not, they're not for sale. So they, they, so they can't say that it's for use in, in, in preventing COVID-19. Mm -hmm. But they hope that's the case. According to the data. According yeah. to the data, yeah. Uh, but remember, you can still get the virus. I mean, the virus can still go in your body. You can still catch it from somebody. And but you can it pass it on. Your, yeah, but yeah, exactly. You can pass it on. But but the the mRNA has already told those cells what to look for and when it comes to attack it. So okay. that's what it'll do. It'll attack it, and then it won't it won't you know have them show symptoms. Okay, but, but then what, like like Vernon says, they can still spread it. So, so in other words, I, I got the vaccine. Uh, if I get the second vaccine, then the chances are pretty good that I am not going to be able, I'm not going to get a case of COVID, right? You're not going to get sick from it, right? right. You sick, won't get sick from it. You won't get sick from it. You won't get sick from it. But I will get COVID. You can you, get COVID. You could. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but MRSA is like the same thing. MRSA, you can get that on your body, but you don't want to get it in your skin or anything. Like operations, they get staph infections. You can get it on your body, but okay. But what I'm saying is, is, is what you seem to be impl 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 implicating. Implying. I, I can't implying. I can't talk today. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, what you seem to be implying is that, that uh, uh, you can still get it. Mm -hmm. But that doesn't mean you're going to have symptoms. You're going to be asymptomatic, right. and you can still spread it to somebody else. Yeah. So because those red balls are going to come into your cells, and your cells are, have already have a picture of what that looks like. Yeah. It sees no, that, it and it's going to attack that. Okay. That's so the that's M part, part of it. And, and I am part. right when I say this is a whole new kind of science we're dealing in, right? Yes, yes. I yes, mean, yes, this yes, is yes, not a – is calling no. it a vaccine well, the right no. thing to do? No, it's uh, yeah, mRNA, and the thing is, when Trump sits there, like he did two days ago, and says, 
oh, we did this so fast. It was never done before and blah, blah, blah. Because there's a whole different technology. Well, also, yeah. it's, like, I... it's like, wow, I got to San Francisco so quickly, faster than anybody. Well, I drove a car for the first time ever, and people were still walking. And yeah. he didn't have anything to do with it anyway. And, yeah. No, yeah, of course it was not yeah. part of Operation but, but, Warp Speed. But, yeah, but the yeah. thing is that um, uh, <clears throat> from what I understand, this is a technology we've had for about 18 years. And it's just kind of been sitting there without something to use it on. Is that, yeah. is, is, you, is that am I right or wrong about that? Yeah, mRNA has been around for a while. But yeah. yeah, I don't know. They haven't used it before. We were using PCR for Zika and for you know everything else that was coming through, the swine yeah. flu and all that stuff. That was the big first flu. For so this us. this was sitting on the shelf, and they just said, "Hey, you know this might work. Let's see what it does." If there is something that comes through like that, yeah, yeah. that's what I believe. How will this apply to future diseases and stuff like that? Will they be able to use this same thing or with modification? Sure. I'm sure they will. Yeah. I'm sure but, they will. But just like us, just like us. You, yeah. yeah what, what we do is we take DNA and we actually use a primer and a probe to separate it. Mm -hmm. And we try to glue it back together. And we try to do that three, four million times and 25 microliter tube and try to see well, if we can see the DNA expand. If we do, tried, then we know that it's that it's that disease. They tried this with my oh. face, and that's why it's still ugly. But, um, <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean... Yeah, so, it, I mean, all, all that kind of technology is out there, but sometimes they, you don't have anything to use it for it then, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Because, I mean, it, it uh, uh, it's a whole new thing. And I just, I just kind of think they were wrong in calling it a vaccine because it isn't. Yeah. A vaccine is usually something they give you, which is is a small dose of whatever they're trying to prevent you from having. So your body then builds antibodies. This is an entirely different thing, where your system gets the information to go and combat something yeah. that's coming in. Yeah, so, there's some good. And by calling good, it a vaccine, they're then getting a lot of people frightened. You know, yeah, like can I get work. can I get COVID from this? Well, we're not giving you COVID. Right. You know. Yeah. But but when but you're giving me a vaccine, isn't the measles vaccine? Doesn't have measles in there? Yes, you know. So they shouldn't be calling it a vaccine. They should be calling it something else, just so people don't confuse it, and might be not as reluctant to use it. You know. Right. Um, I think if Trump wasn't in office and Biden was, mm -hmm. uh, he would have been pro-vaccine, and a lot more people would have survived. Right. And people would be lining up to get the vaccine. Yeah. How far is this going to go, do you think, the the, the, the death toll? Are we going to hit, we're at 400,000 now, we're going to hit a half a million? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Boy, you just... Probably before my wife's half birthday. Half a million by April. What? Yeah. what? Half a million by April? I think we'll hit mm -hmm. half a million before the end it of February. might even be sooner than that. Wow. Wow. Well, what's the average? So are we... 3, a day. Are we going to hit a half million first, or Melania and uh, Donald going to be separated? Which one? <laughs> well, Under that's, over. That's Come a, on. You're, a you're starting a pool, Brian. That's a, that's a good no, question. we started one last night. <laughs> oh. Yeah. I'm on uh, September. Uh, oh, did everybody hear about uh, Mike Lindell, the My Pillow guy? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Major, major retailers like Bed Bath and Beyond yeah, good. Are mm -hmm. dropped his pillows. Coles yeah. as well. And, and he's, well. he, he's complaining that uh, they did it oh, because, he's crying because he was pro-Trump. And they said, no, we did it because your pillows aren't selling. Yeah. You know, and because you're pro-Trump. They're overpriced. That's yeah, why. Exactly. Hey, he he could, paid me to take one of his pillows. Yes, I, Mr. Uh, Larkin. Oh, who, how do you guys like the new uh, press secretary? I think she's pretty hot. She, yeah, she's kind of cute. And she's yeah. smart. <laughs> oh, I don't know who that is yet. Well, Jen think, Saki. Yeah, her she, name is Jen Saki. And she's she, I love, I think she's sexy. I do, I, I do. Oh yeah. The ginger. Yeah. Are, well, you, the are, smart you, are you saying you? at last a mm. uh, a normal person? Uh, uh, a <laughs> yeah. press secretary we can yeah. jerk off to? Is that what you're saying yeah. uh, here? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, more or less. <laughs> yeah, more or less. Well, okay. You, you remember, you remember, you remember Sarah Palin, right? Well, she supposedly invented the term "gilf." Governor, yeah. I'd like to. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Anybody yeah. said Sarah Palin invented that? They didn't meet or see Jennifer Granholm. 
Mm. Michigan, yeah. the former governor of oh, yeah, Michigan. She was, she was hot. She was hot. Yeah. And she's yeah. going to be in the Biden administration too. Oh, really? Yeah. A lot. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Biden's awesome. <laughs> Go Biden. Go Biden. Yeah. Mm. Oh, well, it's going to be a whole different uh, deal. I mean, like, look at uh, tonight. What do we have to talk about? Eh. Eh, Quiet. Everybody's falling asleep. No, oh. we're not. Are you falling asleep? Nope. No, I'm awake. Oh, okay, we'll I'm stay I'm watching there. Brian, though. You're watching Brian? No, because I look at my phone down here, and so it looks like I'm sleeping. Oh, no, he's not sleeping. I've never had Brian fall asleep while I'm doing this show. It's two nine o'clock. It's yeah. too exciting. Jennifer Granholm is going to be the new secretary of the Department of Energy. You know, the the the, the department that Rick, what's his name from Texas, oh, was going to get rid of. Now, my yeah. last big question before we uh, 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 get rid of this program for tonight is: is the it, do you think maybe the coast is clear enough to finally have Phil come back on? Yeah. What is he going to talk about? <laughs> That's a well, good question. You know, I've, I've, I've got several people I work with at Home Depot who mm -hmm. voted for Trump. Mm -hmm. And I've already rehearsed my speech the next time I encounter any of these guys. Yeah. I've already rehearsed my speech. Yeah, it says, look, I know, you, I know you voted for the other guy. I know you thought he did a great job. But my brother, it's time to unify. We're we're still brothers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's yeah. that's very nice mm -hmm. way to put it. But I, yeah. you know, I just uh, I I I can't imagine that Phil would have anything to gripe about particularly now. Well, I mean, he could gripe about oh, Biden. He'll complain about Biden all show. Yeah, I guess. Wow, he stuttered one word in twenty minutes of talking. Did you hear that? Unbelievable. Yeah, unbelievable. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, well, you know, and also, I mean, you got to remember that he's, uh, 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 you know, he's, he's, he's needs to be impeached immediately. Oh, there's going to be an, there's going to be an article <laughs> presented on tomorrow. Yeah. 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 I, I, I have no idea. About. What's it based on? He stuttered once today. He's stealing the election. <laughs> That's what's going on. He was. <laughs> oh, man. He's <laughs> going Stealing the election. Well, she's the QAnon lady, him. right? Yeah, she's yeah. the QAnon. She won't go anywhere. Yeah, but she's the she'll QAnon. She'll make a she'll make a splash, and it'll it'll fade away. She's the QAnon lady. Yeah, <laughs> or that's what she's known as. Hey, there's the theme, and I stayed awake. Okay, yeah. and Tony, if you're listening, I've yet to have my arm hurt. No, doesn't hurt. You, you can end up with other side effects in a day or two. You've been tired. A lot of different oh, I'm things. tired all the time. Okay, so what's new? I know the feeling, and I'm younger than you. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> you, yeah. Brian, when are we going to go jogging? Oh, yeah. Maybe Friday. Uh, we'll talk. Yeah, we'll I'm being old, too. Oh. Here we go. <laughs> Clean out the lungs. That's yeah. a boy. Hey, I like the taste. Thanks, Jeff. <laughs> Appreciate it. Good having you here. Alan, always good to have you here. And, of course, uh, Rocky and his friend Bullwinkle. Uh, thank you for being here, <laughs> Trucker Steve. Uh, also, uh, Charlie Wallace, thank you. Brian Neary and, of course, John Larkin and the lovely and attractive Vernon Nunn. Why don't all of you give a big wave goodbye, and I'll give a big wave goodbye back at you, okay? There they go, folks. That's our citizen panel for tonight. Uh, stay tuned now for uh, Jack Bishop. He's next with The Intersection. Over most of the same gab net. I'll be back again tomorrow night. Same time, same station in life. And in the meantime, as always, if you see her, tell her I love her. And by the way, be safe out there. And every one of you wear a goddamn mask, okay? Good night, and happy first day of Biden. <laughs> <laughs>